Hey, thanks for taking a look at this new update for Dayback Calendar. Um, so right now we're looking at a week view, and you can see, you know, we're just listing these events seven seven days at a time. And I, I can switch that to schedule view and see what time they're taking place. But I really don't have a great way, except for some of the multi-day resource scheduling views, to look at things that are longer than a month. And that's what Horizon View gives us for the first time. And I think a neat way to take a look at it is to look at it in the context of a project, where it kind of works like a Gantt chart. So if we go over to other sample tables, you'll see that Dayback ships with some contact and, and project sample files. And the reason it does this is that a lot of folks want to link contacts and projects to their events. And these placeholder tables make that really easy. So we know you're going to swap these out for your own projects and your own layouts and stuff. So we added this new button here called Show Projects and Calendar. And we're going to take a look at all these milestones for this project all the way from January uh, into March. And if I click Show Project and Calendar, you'll see that that's what we do on Horizon View. We snap to about eight weeks and we show all those events that we were looking at. I can edit these events here. I can even drag them around if they need to happen at different times, um, which is cool. The other thing that's kind of neat over here is I can turn the distance lines on and see how far away these events are for, for today. So you can see that it's 49 days until whatever this Latin thing is needs to happen. And, and in future versions of Dayback, we're gonna kind of explore this 49 days and let you uh, click here and see, you know, how many work days is that? How many clear days, like days without any meetings? You know, how many practical days do you have between now and when this, this other thing has to happen? You know, how many other milestones are between there? And that's what the uh, horizon view starts to get at. So right now we've capped it at about nine weeks. I think, yeah, nine weeks. We'll be releasing some in-app updates in the future that extend that um, a little bit because we know that folks have longer projects and that this view can be used for long-term planning in a way that some of the other views um, in the calendar uh, maybe can't be. Um, the other thing that happened when we came over here from the project is we set a project filter. So if I go over to advanced filters, you'll see that we set to filter for just that one project. And if I clear that and hit apply, we'll be looking at the horizon view across um, all of our projects. And again, this can be a neat way to kind of scan out across multiple weeks and get an idea of your workload. So if you want to get a hold of this view, the way to do this is go to settings and click on account settings and you'll see a little button here, check for updates. I think I'm running the latest version, I am. Um, download the update right here. There are a few FileMaker scripts you'll want to change. Whenever we uh, put in a new view, we include settings for like, you know, what's the default view? What's the default uh, date range here? Do you want these lines on or off by default? And so you'll want to change your FileMaker scripts to include that kind of stuff. But those instructions are really clear and it doesn't take very long. And uh, I think you'll find this view really interesting, especially when you're filtered down to see just one resource, one project, or one kind of event. It really lets you see how much space you have between today and when these things are coming due. Thanks for checking it out.